Thank you, John McLaughlin. Issue 1, Obamacare deadline today. 3 o'clock start for the White Sox sale against Alaska. 11 uh, p.m. deadline for Obamacare today. Tribune page 1 says data show health law efforts working. Substantial progress toward one of the law's principal goals. That is uh, uh, ensuring the previously uninsured to the tune of 9.5 million. Why are we naysaying about this, Morton? First of all, that deadline is uh, only a deadline except to the extent that it's not a deadline. Uh, if you tried to sign up and you weren't able to because, as was the case this morning, when our trustee producer checked healthcare.gov, the website was down. Um, so there's It's now back up. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, right, it's spotty, and so thus the need for yet another uh, kind of executive fiat extension of, of Obamacare. Uh, and in terms of uh, the Tribune story, which I assume was ripped from the headlines of The Onion, uh, the, 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 you have to look at the composition of who's signed up, who's actually paid premiums. And oh, by the way, the state's Medicaid program, which the Tribune editorial board has opined on routinely and uh, very persuasively how dysfunctional that program is in the state currently, how unaffordable it is currently, and now we're doubling down under Obamacare to expand Medicaid from one in five Illinoisans to one in three Illinoisans eligible. It's a financial and health care catastrophe. And Medicaid is the program where you get insurance, but no doctor will take you. That, 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 that's a good plan. That's Soviet. Yeah. Issue two. Across the pond in Great Britain, there is a clown shortage. There are fewer than 100 clowns. I dare say there might be more saber-toothed tigers in Britain than clowns. They blame it in part for the culture against clowns, as embodied by Krusty the Clown and the Simpsons. What to do about this clown shortage? Eleanor Clift. I don't know. I blame it on Pagliacci or maybe John Wayne Gacy. Uh, I'm not worried about uh, the clown shortage here. It just happens that most of them migrated from clown college to, of course, public office. And you know there will be one less clown at U.S. Cellular Field than there was okay. like 20 years ago. I'm talking about one Andy the Clown. I'm I love about... Andy the Clown. Don't you, Bruce? I sure do! Go, you white socks! <laughs> Issue three, the NCAA tournament. Wasn't that action exciting over the weekend? And Bennett Academy graduate, that's the school you went to, right? Yes. Frank, Frank Kaminsky of uh, Lyle did such an excellent job, not only in the game, not only under the boards, not only in the three-point shooting, but in the interview afterwards with Charles Barkley, he did Bennett Academy and the University of Wisconsin proud. Did he not? Freddie Barnes. Well, that's because... You know, Bennett Academy educates young men and women, which is something maybe the Chicago Public School System and a lot of other systems could uh, take a look at and scale the model that Bennett Academy has, including for basketball now, which is nice to see. Now, John Calipari, of course, the coach at Kentucky, not too concerned about uh, educating men. Uh, they, they're a lot of one-and-done athletes, and I know that Derek Rose was so pleased with his former coach at Memphis that he was willing to pay the 100 grand that Calipari had to fork over as part of the settlement of that scam that he and... Uh, uh, Rose allegedly ran to get Rose into uh, the University of Memphis a few years ago. But, but hey, let's let's not pay attention to any of that stuff. Let's sweep that under the rug, right? Well, right? it's hard to sweep it under the rug. They had to vacate all their victories. <laughs> Pretty well established. Issue four, a new poll shows that Tony Preckwinkle could give Rahm Emanuel a run for his money. Is that true, Pat Buchanan? I wouldn't put a lot of stock in that survey. I don't know how credible it is, but I would say that... Uh, it is true that Tony Preckwinkle could give Rom a run because she would be the de Blasio candidate, essentially. She would be backed by the public sector union, starting most uh, specifically with the Chicago Teachers Union and Karen Lewis. There would be a ton of cash. Before Preckwinkle was Cook County Board Chairman, she was a wholly owned subsidiary of the public sector unions for her 20 years on the city council. So it's, it's very interesting to me to see if Preckwinkle has the ambition to do this because if she does, it would be a heck of a race. Uh, Rom, Rom is not popular. He, he could absolutely be in trouble. By the way, this is an opportunity for the Republican Party to expand the parameters of debate. If Rom is vulnerable and if Prentwinkle is a possible opponent, there's also space there for a center-right candidate and maybe the Republican Party to try and establish a beachhead in Chicago. I was just thinking that this could be the greatest opportunity for the Republican Party since Benjamin Adamowski in, I believe, like, 62 actually almost beat Richie Daly's dad, Richard J. Daly, because we've been marginalized, but 
this, and, this and town also, isn't also against the backdrop of the city of Chicago that has uh, a worse financial condition than formerly bankrupt Detroit. Is <laughs> uh, I I don't th I don't think I don't think Lake Point Tower is actually part. Uh, it's like Hong Kong used to be. It's not really it's a part. Territory. Yeah, it's yeah, not part yes. of it. Now yeah. look, I I just I can't believe this town is that lefty. Is it that it's leftist? Not. It's not, and it's more conservative than New York or L.A. Yeah. Both cities have elected Republican mayors, so. I think there's great opportunity there, and hopefully the Republican Party can get us acting. The problem, of course, is always the proximity. So we're all, the proximity of elections, we're all focused on the November election, the governor's race, the Senate race, all the congressional races, and then just, it's, you have the holidays, and then February you have a primary for mayor of the city of Chicago. So that tends to crowd out competition and shorten the available time frame to actually mount a challenge. This is why you have to be a little bit forward looking and think about these things ahead of time, the kind of planning the Republican Party in Illinois is not exactly known for.